This has to be another DLC 5 teaser, and this one will surely make you think. As always, we're gonna be diving straight into it, no BS, we'll intertwine a lot of new hints and this new DLC 5 teaser, so sit back and watch and definitely let me know what you think after watching this video, cause I'm convinced this is a DLC 5 teaser and there's a reason behind this. Hey everybody, what the heck is going on? Detective X, as they would like to call me, is back on this DLC 5 crime scene, and today this is going to be the follow-up video to this one and it will surely blow your mind. I had a hard time processing this when I first found this out but a lot of dots are starting to connect now and this one is just another DLC 5 teaser but before we get right into it I just want to say if you are new to the channel definitely do consider subscribing. We do daily videos and live streams. When I talk about serious topics like this one in a video I try to keep a monotone ass voice but we go full on meme on live streams so definitely do consider subscribing but first things first I want to quickly touch this and then we'll move on to the big picture. It's a little hint but I still do find this to be a lot more significant. Now there was an update by the title of 1.21 in Black Ops 3, already discussed that in the last video we went in depth but within this update we have found a Gen 6 texture file and station was misspelled and we do not have Gen 6 in Revelation, we do have Gen 3 but not Gen 6 and now we're at a time when Black Ops 3 is done. It should have been but it seems like it's not and of course it is not. We got this texture file and it is misspell and we can have arguments like uh, well they have put this in the game with misspell station because they know they won't touch it. Good point but why would they add this now if they do not want to touch it? It does not make sense but if you take a look at station the A is misspell and we have G replacing it and if you just read the beginning I'm gonna sound crazy but it will sound like like STG and STG is the weapon in Origins and this is an Origins texture file. It is very odd to why we got this in the first place but looking at my keyboard there's quite a bit of distance between A and G. If it was an error then it should have been a close alphabet like Q, W, E, S, D or Z or X something close but why am I even bothering saying this because uh, of course they double check before pushing something out and of course it is not an error. Treyarch does everything for a reason and Jason Blundell is the man that gave us the Morse code by blinking his eyes in a video so you can imagine how deep that shit goes. So this STG or station misspelled texture can or cannot be a hint but I thought I would share this with you guys. Definitely let me know what you think. I do read all my comments and if you do happen to find something definitely let me know in the comments or over on Twitter. Now I have a lot of other hints and there are a lot of stuff that I personally cannot talk talk about and I've been digging up quite a bit but I can definitely speak on stuff that is out by Treyarch and that I personally see out from like people like Glitch and Queen and whatnot and uh, it is very very odd. Now of course we covered the part of Glitch and Queen teasing DLC 5, she teased Mob of the Dead, Origins, Moon and Ascension in that specific order and I was like 50-50 if she would tease more or not in the future but she has and the connection I got will blow your mind. So you gotta keep in mind Glitching Queen has grown her channel on trust, credibility, and she's at a point where she don't need to, uh, she won't think about losing her credibility. Of course, sometimes you do make mistakes, uh, you're not always right, of course that happens to the best of us, but she has teased all four maps. I'm not gonna go in depth about it because we have covered that in the last video, but if you had doubts to why she's doing it, like I said in my previous video, I'll say it again, she's probably is told by Activision to not speak but do something like marketing for DLC5 as she runs a credible newsworthy channel and she has a good following. I, I really do feel like they are marketing up for DLC5. That's what I believe. They shouldn't be trolling us if they actually are. That's still a possibility. It sucks to say that but that's still a possibility but what I've heard uh, it shouldn't be a troll and looking at my calendar it shouldn't be as well and I guess I'm not the only one who would ask this but a comment found on Glitching Queen's latest video or the second latest video by the time I'm recording this one uh, it had another DLC 5 teaser we're gonna get to it but the comment came from B Core and he asked Glitching Queen can you at least acknowledge
message in some way, shape or form, whether or not the subtle little pop-up. See, a lot of people are starting to realize she does have subtle little pop-ups. And he goes on to say, subtle little pop-ups and videos mean anything that you have been putting in your videos. And she simply loved the comment and basically that means she acknowledged it. So, uh, DLC5 confirmed, I don't know. And it surely could be frustrating for someone like that want to know what's going on and why you are putting everything like that. What's going on? Let me know. You ask it, but just uh, the person behind it just acknowledge it. Like, you have been putting these, but not saying anything about it, but you acknowledge it. Just like when you would send a message to your crush on Facebook, and you will see that she's seen it, but wouldn't respond. So that's that. She does acknowledge that. But moving on to the juicy part, and we'll have more juice. So stay tuned. Now, in her last video, she talks about the real life buried, which is interesting. Uh, but in this specific video, this is her second last video, which has the title of Play as Villar Viler Leaked and DLC 2 Zombies Map IW Zombies. Towards the end of uh, this video, as expected, we had another hint. It said turn back. Now, this could mean a lot of things. Now, we know that she has been teasing stuff about track zombies, possibly DLC 5. So, we'll take this like this. Is this bus route B? Is this for transit? Maybe time bomb from buried? Or my personal opinion, turn back as though turn back in the video now if we go just a little bit behind in the video there's another link it is in just couple of frames and it's a tiny URL that will lead you to this website at first you may be like what the heck is going on because I've been there I was looking around not even looking in the center god damn it but when you take a look in the middle it has a maze and maze is only in buried interesting now what blows my mind is this that in my last video we discussed about this uh, there was a guy on Twitter his handle is Eden first of all I want to say thank you so much Eden for sending this my way and if you guys do happen to find something and you want to know something definitely send my way over on Twitter and he tweeted me a couple of days ago saying and showing that the transit crew is holding black ops 3 guns Russman is holding Manowar and Misty is holding Vivo and that specific video was the video of Mr. Raffle Waffles him reading the issue 3 comic and of course I went on the video Video, watched it uh, I haven't had the time to just read the whole comic still but I actually took a shot a different shot where Misty is clearly holding the Vivo and of course transit crew was in buried for those of you that don't know and this really does boggle my mind why is she teasing buried and why the transit crew holding black ops 3 guns it's really a significant hint and it does really F with my mind and it does blow my mind after everything we have covered in previous videos and this isn't the only thing I went back and watched uh, a couple of like Jason Blundell interview I highly advise you guys to watch those as well and I found like a couple of different things but I will only mention two now the first thing was that uh, Mr. Awful Waffle asked Blundell something like this are those uh, dice event loading screen that you guys have shown us that includes the giant moon uh, and Shangri-La sketches are those canon in, uh, in a way where like are those real uh, are we going to see that and Jason Blundell said yes all of those are canon uh, I will play that clip in just a little bit but let me just finish this off and then Mr. Ruffle Waffles ask uh, Blundell again something like uh, are we going to see the Ascension crew back and Jason and Blundell said yes and we do have the Ascension loading screen and Glitching Queen has teased that uh, teased Ascension specifically we have covered everything in the previous video now of course it could mean two things either we're going to see the Ascension crew in the next Treyarch title or maybe just maybe very soon with possibly DLC 5. We do have Ascension loading screen like I, like I said earlier but it is very interesting to why everything has been actually connecting with everything if you get what I'm saying. I will play that video but definitely do let me know what you think about this in the comments below and while you're down there smash that like button and subscribe for more and definitely share these videos with your friends to someone that's like I ah, know DLC 5 I'm not a believer it's not gonna happen. Of course it may not happen and this may be the biggest troll but at the same time why everything is there and why everything is kind of making sense at least all of this makes sense to me but uh, let me know what you think and I'm gonna play the clip right now are the alternative loading screens such as the one we saw at dice uh, in the dice mm -hmm. conference with the slightly edited mail order form or the two Shangri-La sketches or the um, uh, what was it? The presentation that, or not the presentation, sorry, the trailer that you gave at Comic Con, mm -hmm. that, that recap video, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Are those loading screens canon? Yes. 
whole, all of them. Yes. Wow. That's really weird. Okay. Okay. This this is a question that I think I think you're. This thing, I'm, I could get through all these questions and I'd win the competition here. That's uh, true. And you're the one taking all the time. I'm I'm excited by your your bizarre answers. Okay. okay. Will we see more of the Ascension Group? Yes. Oh, that was quick. That was quick. Whew. 